For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. He that has the Son has everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It's plain and simple. The Bible states to born-again Bible-believing Christians going all the world and preach the gospel. The gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scripture and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scripture. Heck, all mankind dies. The wages of sin is death. We're very good at dying. We were born to die. With our rise of our life of money, fame, education, occupation, wealth. And the Bible says the wages of sin is death. The Bible says all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There's a plain, simple fact. We're going to die. You can eat health food, you can eat junk food, but you will die because you are a sinner. The Bible says all have sinned, come short of the glory of God. The wages of sin is death. Behold the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. Sin. We like to put sin at different degrees. We like to have major sins. We like to have little white lies. And little white lies are sin. Stealing that pen is a sin. It's called theft. It's not okay in the eyes of God. It's not okay to tell your child that there's a Santa Claus or an Easter Bunny or the Tooth Fairy when they are alive. And then you mock against God and you sin against God by telling your child about Santa Claus, Easter Bunny, fairy tale, and you won't tell your child about Jesus Christ when the Bible says, bring the young children unto me. Suffer them to come unto me. You suffer them in a world of lies. And when the gospel is preached to you out of the King James Bible, when we quote the scriptures, that's not a lie. It is the hope, the blessed hope of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'll tell you what a lie will be. I will tell you what a religious lie will be. If you send me money, you can get your prayer answered. Given to Jesus Christ, given to God money, great fame will abound. Your cancer will go away. You'll have a magnificent, wonderful life if you come to... That's a lie. I am not ashamed to get up and preach to the streets of America to tell that fellow people in the ministry may be lying to you. Salvation is of God. Salvation is of Jesus Christ, who is God. And God is Jesus Christ. And there is no salvation any other. Mary can't do nothing. The popes can't do nothing for you. Your pastor can't do nothing for you. Your water baptism has failed. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Believe. Put your faith and trust. Put your sins in the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. If you got such a marvelous, wonderful church, why is your church not on the street corners preaching as the Bible says in Mark 16, going all the world and preach the gospel? It didn't send them to movies. 
It didn't say, let your light shine. You're in the wrong Bible book. It says, preach the gospel. The gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died. And we do that so well. And yet there's one man, above all men, who was sinless. Sure. And he died. He died because of our sins, Isaiah 53. Our iniquities put him upon the cross. A man that is sinless, a man that is God, and God who was in that man, Jesus Christ, suffered and died because yes. we yes. are the sinners. Yes. And he died according to the scriptures, according to the prophecy. Stop harassing people. Stop harassing people. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, sir, and you can be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, ma'am, and thou shalt be saved. The glory of God is that God was manifested in the flesh, born of a virgin of the tribe of Judah, of the family of David. That sinless perfection that God manifested in the flesh died a sinless man with our sin forever. That we may have life. That we may have life more, more abundantly, the Bible said. And I am not promising you a life that a wonderful, a gratefulness, a feeling of wealth. I don't promise that with believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says, they that live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. I would not lie to you, but when you come upon Jesus Christ upon your faith and believe upon the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world, you will get your name in the last book of life. You will change from hell to heaven for all eternity. And that salvation is free. And that salvation is a wonderful salvation of God, the Father. The love of God is that Jesus Christ came from the Father. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. Sometimes she thinks I don't think right. We are so great at dying. We fill cemeteries. We fill graveyards. Cemeteries and funerals happen every day. We're so great at doing it. But Jesus Christ died according to the scriptures. Jesus Christ had a plan before he was born. Jesus Christ had prophecy before he was born. He was born to die upon Calvary's hill. He knew exactly what time he would die. He knew what day he would die. And he knew how he would die. And he still died for our sins. And if God were to tell us that, hey, if we're going to cross this road on this certain day, we would be hit by a car, we would not cross that road. Sometimes I wonder why I even try. And yet, the gospel is that Jesus Christ died according to the scripture. The gospel is a wonderful thing, it's a great thing, and it's no imitation like a man trying to sing. That guy don't know nothing. I know Jesus Christ saved. That's what I know. He knows nothing. But of Satan, he knows of devil things. We know of God. We stand upon the blood of Jesus Christ. That giveth life to those that will die. John the Baptist says, He that has the Son has everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God the wrath of God, an angry God, mad at sin, and sinners be like, forever thy word is settled in heaven, forever thy word is settled in heaven, forever thy word, and that's the word of God out of God's mouth. Hey. Down, down. Good. 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 Good
And that's not really they were they had that plan anyway, so that's what they do with you guys. Yeah, so most people here are welcome to you know, it's not like a fifty fifty, it's like being a Republican at the end of the rock. It's one guy in car and start and walk the car of this car in here and say, Stop harassing people. And then one of the ladies in the green shirt told them, Stop harassing anybody. The, the, the people that are lashing out, you're not Christian. Right? Yeah. Hi, I'm Johnny Mac. Those are the ones that, that they're, I believe that God is challenging their heart. Because there are people that don't like us. Well, well, he's here for 15 minutes. They're lost souls. And, and that's it. They're, and, and, it's, and it's good that you don't lash out at them and let them know that he is. I do in a way, in a kind of sarcastic way. I you do, but, but, but you do it in such a cool, uh, cool way. Yeah, cool gotcha. way. Diplomatic sarcastic. way. <laughs> good to see you guys. Thank you. We are born to end up in a hole in the ground. That's that's the life of humanity. That's evolution. That's the great I am. That's the human manifesto. We are born to die. Because we rebelled against God. God told Adam, do not eat of that fruit. And Adam ate that fruit and he shall surely die. God has commanded us in order for eternal life to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. And what do we do? We go to religion. We go to sinful man. We don't go to God for salvation. And there are many, many, many people who have died before us. Religious people are in hell. Good people are in hell. Wonderful people are in hell. People that are not in hell are people that are washed by the blood of Jesus Christ. People who have put their faith in the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. They are not in hell. You will not find me in hell. I am a born again Christian saved by the blood of Jesus Christ who is God and nothing else. Preaching doesn't get me to heaven. Being good doesn't get me to heaven. But my faith and my belief, as for you, to put it in Jesus Christ, you can get to heaven in the last book of life. It's not what you have done, it's what Jesus Christ has done. The gospel, that he died according to the scriptures, and was buried, and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. It's that simple. God made it so simple, and mankind makes it so difficult. Man says, do, do, do. God says, it is finished. It is finished. It is finished. Salvation was finished upon the cross, and it was certified by the empty tomb Sunday morning. Salvation cost Jesus Christ. It didn't cost me. Everything that happened to Jesus Christ upon Isaiah 53 should happen to me. I am worthy and I am deserving of hell, whether I be good or not. I have been guilty of lying. I have been guilty of stealing. And the Bible says, if a man to be looked upon a woman with a lust in his heart has already committed adultery. I'm guilty of that. I'm guilty of a false witness. I'm guilty of not honoring my parents all the time. I am guilty of having idolatry in my heart. I am guilty of not giving God full attention all the time. So don't come to me and say, I keep the Ten Commandments because I'll put you to a test. 
I will hand you my Bible and have you show me where the Ten Commandments are. And I will tell you, you're not worthy of heaven because you can't keep the first commandment. The first commandment is God first all the time, every time, every second, God first. We all violate that scripture. And when we don't put God first, you're a sinner. I'll tell you something else about being a sinner. You have heard that Jesus saves. You have heard that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And your rejection right now of Jesus Christ, you have committed the sin that will put you in hell. You see, people don't go to hell because of liars, of child pornography. They don't go to hell because of drugs. They go to hell because they rejected God's gift. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Into hell you will go by rejecting Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, a little better. Forever. Hi, my name's Jody Mack. I'm a Daytona songwriter. They've invited me out here to play a little music. Forever. And forever the word of God is settled in heaven. Uh, and there's one other name, no other name. Acts chapter 4, 12 says, and there is that name of Jesus Christ that saved. There's no other name of importance forever but Jesus Christ. And I turn there again. Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is no other name under heaven given amongst men whereby we must be saved. In Revelation chapter 20, Revelation chapter 20, Whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Heaven's reservations are made by the book of life. And not just a book of life, the Lamb's book of life. And the only way to get into the Lamb's book of life is by the Lamb of God, which takes away the sin of the world. Now you got to be careful because the Bible says there are wolves in sheep's clothing. And look around in the religion of Daytona Beach where we are now. There are many wolves out there wearing wolves. And they don't preach the Jesus that's preached on the street here today. They preach a Jesus that will come down the chimney. They will preach a Jesus that's going to hide eggs pretty soon. They will preach a loving Jesus without wrath for sin. They won't preach a holy Jesus. And yet we don't need to worry about the wolves and sheep clothing. We need to worry about the Lamb of God. Because any wolf can get saved and have their name put in the Lamb's Book of Life. But as you reject the preaching of Jesus Christ, as you reject the gospel of Jesus Christ, as you will not put your faith in the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world, you will enter into the gates of hell for all eternity with good people, with wonderful people. A place of Republicans and Democrats and Independents and Green Parties and every party. Wonderful great people of history are in hell because they have chosen not to believe Jesus Christ. Holy people and righteous people are in heaven because they have put their faith and belief in the Holy Righteous One, Jesus Christ. I cannot say 
I am going to heaven by what I have done, not of works, least any man boasts. I cannot claim anything of what I have done or merit to enter into glory. The best thing I can do for God is die. That's it. God says he that's born of a woman full of days and troubles as the sparks fly upward. I could do that very good. To be good, I can't. Because my good is not the same as your good. And when we live in a day and age when evil is good and good is evil, you live up in a messed up e economy. Wicked, vile people are praised, and people who, who are good and all that are demeter. And God, and God says, hey, let's get rid of all that. Let's have one people. One person for the standard. And that one person of God has said in the scripture, I am, and this is not me, this is Jesus, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. The I am that had the Jewish people pick up the stone to stone him for what he said. Jesus is king. Knew exactly what Jesus said. They were going to stone Jesus for the proclamation for you Jehovah Witnesses that he said he is God. God manifest in the flesh, suffered and died on that cross for us. If we could save ourselves, and if, you would not need preaching today, Saturday morning. Oh, 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 think about if we could save ourselves. We would not need Christmas. So that's the Hittite Bible, but still. If we could save our own souls, we would not have Jesus Christ born in Bethlehem. We would not have Jesus Christ died on Calvary's cross if we could save ourselves. If Mary could do it, there would have been no need for Jesus. Why have, Mary, why have Jesus if Mary was able? Why have her go nine months and pregnancy of a male child if she was the chosen one? I guess Mary can't do it because Jesus is the one that went to the cross. And you forget what Mary said, the last words of Mary in the Bible. Whatsoever my son saith, do it. It's a perfect winter day. Luke chapter, or John chapter 4. The words of Mary were, whatever my son says, do it. Okay? Her son said, I am the way. Four walls, two windows, that rules Mary out. We're great at dying. Got desire. And yet there's been we one that died me. according to the scriptures. They say that there are 48 prophecies of the first advent of Jesus Christ, and they were all fulfilled. And one day, God 
gave up his life because we are the sinners. Nobody knows. Where he I died go. because of our offense. He suffered according to our crime. No American would live by those stairs. Because every American has a right. And I tell you, you have the only right to die. And you will. I advise you to die in the faith and being washed in the Lamb of God would take away the sin of the world. Because death is not the end. That's not it. Do you realize when you close your eyes to this world, whenever it may be, you will open your eyes to eternity. And eternity has no calendar. You do not have a wristwatch. You do not have an appointment book. And you can't take your smartphone into hell. That might make you scared enough to come. And yet the wisdom of God is the fear of God. Proverbs chapter 1. And the fear of God that what's going to happen when I die? Where am I going to go honestly? And no religion can give you the assurance of salvation. I've been in religion. You might, you may, if your widow will have to pay, your people will have to do. But the pages of the Bible of 1 John, these things have I written unto you that you may know you have eternal life. That's important. Because when you take your last breath, where are you honestly going to be? Because if you take it without Jesus Christ, the Bible, the Word of God says you go into hell. Good, wonderful, how mighty you are. Without Jesus Christ, you will enter the gates of hell with the vile, with the good, with the wonderful, and the religious. And you don't come out. And when you enter death by Jesus Christ, you go to be absent from the body and present with the Lord forever. And that is the love of God. That's hated. Imagine, you want more love of God. We've heard it. And I am preaching the love of God. And you hate it. And you reject it. But you expect God to love you more. You expect God to be that penny bubble gum machine. Here, God, here's my prayer penny. Why didn't you give me two bubble gums? Empty fellas filled with promises. We both know we God is a holy, righteous God. Promises we cannot keep. Cannot enter into his presence as who you are, a sinner. Heaven. I'm not going to say members only. Heaven is by the blood of Jesus Christ only. If you are not known by Jesus Christ, if you are not known by the Father, by Jesus Christ. You will not be known in glory. Smiling man that comes like happy. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. 
and thou shalt be saved. There's no belief in anything else, and there's no unbelief in anything. Soon we have to. An atheist will have to stand before the God that he doesn't believe. Just as much as the religious person who has mocked up a God. You're all going to appear before the God of the Bible. The Bible says, prepare to meet thy God. Departures and arrivals. And if the Bible has been correct about 48 prophecies of one man, from where and when he was born to when and where he will come up from the grave. And if that same God, who is Jesus, who has spoken the scripture to say, prepare to meet the God, you better believe you're going to meet God one day. And if you do it without Jesus Christ as being preached, of the gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died, and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That holy and righteous God that has given you a gift will cast you off forever into hell. And you can plead all you want. You won't have your peace. You won't have your money. You'll just have your soul before the God that created it. And no name in the last book of life. And those that were not found in the last book of life was cast off into the lake of fire that burneth forever. There is no relief in hell. There is no love in hell. There is no peace in hell. Patience is one of the virtues of the Holy Spirit, one of His fruit. There is no patience as you burn forever. That's going to be a hard one. There is no endurance as you live forever in the anger and in the wrath, quoting John the Baptist of God. The glories of heaven. Now you may say, preacher, you're always preaching about hell. You don't give us enough heaven. You know, Jesus preached more about hell than he did about heaven, and he told Nicodemus, if you can't understand what I'm talking to you, you ain't going to get the eternal. Paul, the great apostle, says, oh, those days are coming. Calling back we And if you have no fear of where you are going, you're not worthy to hear about heaven. I don't want to air condition hell for you. I want you to smell the sulfur. I want you to go oh, if I only had a drop of water. Oh, if I only had the taste of Jesus Christ, the water of life. That's that simple. And to get out of hell, the scriptures say, Acts 16.31, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Hey, it doesn't amaze me Christians don't want me to preach hell. 
I've heard it. And you're foolish. But if you're saved and you don't want hell, then what on earth are you saved from? The one that made hell. And in his words, hell was created for the devil and his angels. The one that made the place suffered and died that you might not go if you were to just believe on him. There you go. I love your attitude. And the devil made religion. How did the devil make religion? In the chronicle order of the Bible, the devil's first words. In the order of the Bible, yea, as God said. Is that not what's said in the pulpits? Let's open our Bibles and see what God has said. And in the book of Corinthians, I'm not sure first or second, forgive me, but Paul writes about Satan, and he has ministers. In the same church, he writes that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. And he told others, my gospel. Well, his gospel is the same gospel as Jesus Christ. Wasn't that Paul had something other? And that same gospel that was preached to the Corinthian church is the same gospel that is preached on the streets of Daytona Beach, Florida. And it's not a prosperity gospel. Salvation is not going to make your life wonderful. I believe they call that snake oil. And I'm not here about the serpent. Revelation 12. Genesis 3. I'm here by the blood. Salvation of God is a bloody salvation. Upon fists, upon whips, and thorns, and nails, and a spear, the salvation of God, Acts 20:28. 20, Acts 2028. 20, Stole my life from the way. Acts chapter 20, verse 28. The church of God which he has purchased with his own blood. Carry me back. If you do not have the blood of Jesus Christ, you do not have salvation. It's not water. It's not taking Jesus orally. I mean, the oral Jesus may have gluten. Oh boy, that's a great thing. Gluten. I got one. Hey, ask that priest to read the ingredients on that wafer. Do the ingredients of that wafer say Jesus Christ? Or does it say enriched flour? On his holy folk whatever. The ingredients of my salvation is written down. Jesus Christ. The Son of God. Who is God? That's the ingredients of the true salvation. And there's no other. You are not okay if you choose to reject Jesus Christ. For God so loved
loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Carry me back where I belong. You're only going to go to heaven by Jesus Christ. That's it. By the faith of the biblical Jesus Christ. That's it. That's it. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. That's it.